one thing when I was pitching you guys to come in and take mercy on me on a Friday on Labor Day weekend. I wanted to know what projects you were working on. And Robert, please fill me in on Apache County because I am here for this. This is the wackiest story on a Friday and let's just go. Well, I guess we have to talk about Norwegian pop star obsession. You know, was ABBA from Norway, Iceland? I'm here for ABBA. Uh, we were playing some of them earlier. I think they're Scandinavian. Scandinavian for sure. So Sweden. Yeah, Sweden. Ding, ding. Okay, so I'm here for any Scandinavian pop star scandal. But I, I got news because <laughs> Apache County Attorney Michael Whiting went to Sweden too on his Norwegian pop star tour. Okay, so tell me more. I like I literally am like I'm on the edge of my chair, literally. So of course most people know that Mr. Whiting is involved in an investigation by the Arizona Attorney General. They've taken over his office up there. He's responsible for prosecuting all felonies as a county attorney is. He's elected, but his own staff has filed injunctions against him to prevent him from having contact with him. And given that landscape Elena and I were tasked with going up there and seeing what the heck's going on. And because it's Elena and I, we found something that nobody else had talked about, which was Mr. Whiting's obsession, apparent obsession, with a Norwegian pop star and his use of county facilities, county resources to further that relationship with her and her fans. So he's commingling funds to pursue this fangirling of this pop star what is her name do we have a name for her dagny dagny oh there you go are you on let's make sure that miss elena is on hang on one second we're just gonna make sure elena santa cruz is on and ready to go you good yes okay i think that she is not on however dagny we're gonna fix her up in two seconds we're gonna like here we go here comes julia okay there you go Testing. Oh, okay. she's back. Elena Santa Cruz, everyone. Okay, talk to me about Dagny because I'm here for this. Oh, Dagny is Michael Whiting's obsession Obsession for years. Um, and we've seen a flurry of posts, comments all over social media, just his admiration for this pop star, which isn't a bad thing. But when we saw the extent of it and how it mixed the materials that he bases his campaign some of his campaign on as county attorney that's where we raised the flag taking um, taxpayer funded materials on these overseas trips and sharing them with Dagny and other fans that he has spent his time with over there on multiple trips so is he bringing campaign branded stuff to Norway and holding it up like hey like the concert well it's it's Does actually he know a little, her? it's a little more serious than that and and he is he is i would say a key to her fan groups he's he's someone i would describe as an administrator or a he's he's named in one of her fan groups he helps apparently run it or oh, so at he's least he's guy. tied to it okay but um so he in, in Apache County, he's run unopposed, by the way, since 2008. Nobody has challenged him for office. OK. And this year, too. And yeah. And he's running unopposed for November. And even as the attorney general tightens its its noose or its investigation around him. So we find out he has these campaign material. They're anti-bullying campaign materials. Uh, a lot of, you know, be sober. I, he, he does this in schools throughout the county. I, we have to talk. We'll, we'll get into that because I'm not sure why a county attorney needs to have a school campaign. His wife, however, is the superintendent of schools. Oh, here we go. And he brought this material with him on his trips, as Elena said, but he didn't just bring it with him, pass it out as as party favors. He did that, but he also made fun of it. Of his own material? Mm-hmm. Tell. Well, there's a now deleted, I believe, video that we came across um, where he pulls out a shirt that says, I believe, Sober Boys Rule, and he's sharing it with these Dagny friends of his, and then they just start laughing at it, and repeatedly he's just saying, we pass these out to kids, we pass these out to kids, just like... Is he drinking while he does this? Uh, not in the video. I couldn't tell you if he was, mm -hmm. but just 
the mere fact of something he has strongly, you know, been proud of. He's told it to himself he's so proud. It's been an honor to have this anti-bullying campaign, yet turns around and goes to Norway and is just laughing at it with these friends. Yeah, he even, it appears, makes, he, he, he curses about it, and, and they they don't just make fun of it. They are laughing uproariously about it. And, uh, I mean, this stuff is, is part and parcel to who he is and, and his office, and the county taxpayers pay for it. And when, when you think of a T-shirt, that's fine, right? But we're talking tens of thousands of dollars in this so-called campaign material, his bullying campaign mm-hmm. material. Mm-hmm. He... Go ahead. I just want to uh, update our listeners on who's speaking. It's Robert Anglin and Elena Santa Cruz from the Arizona Republic, investigative reporter and criminal justice reporter. And we're diving into what's happening in Apache County, and it really is something else. It, it is indeed. <laughs> uh, and, of course, Dagny's a 32-year-old pop star. Um, she she has a, a, a big following um, in, in the Scandinavian countries in Europe. Um, she tours there. She has a, a remarkably big following among the LGBTQ+. Um, and, and by all accounts, Mr. Whiting is, is fascinated by her. Um, he is sung happy birthday to her he has recorded himself singing happy birthday to her from his county office the county attorney's office which some might find not the proper use of of the county attorney's office well i'm thinking if i flipped this and it was taylor instead of dagny it would still be just as weird if he's commingling funds to go be a fangirl for taylor swift and spend his money at her concerts handing out t-shirts from his office do we not indeed excellent and we haven't even gotten to the bizarre stuff. Okay, so let me ke- catch you up to speed if you're just joining us. The Apache County attorney and the school superintendent, who are married, correct? Correct. Okay. They're indicted. Correct. Yeah? Okay. And <laughs> had a court appearance yesterday. <laughs> among many issues is a commingling of company city funds used by Mr. Whiting to pursue his fangirling of a Norwegian pop star named Dagny. Do, am I getting this correct? Correct. Okay. I have a question for you. With his funding of said fangirling, has he ever used any funds to travel to see her or the, the short her? <laughs> the, the short answer is Michael Whiting won't say if he's used those funds. There's no evidence in the records, which we're pouring through, his, his expense records, which are voluminous, that he's actually used county funds to pay for the trips. However, those expenses show that he's been using or earning points for county purchases. So he's getting, you know, hotel points, other kinds of credit card points. So he's reward getting loyalty points. points for doing this? We can't tell you if he used those points to bankroll his trips. But I can tell you that Mr. Whiting has been asked over and over about that and has respectfully declined to address that issue. Understood. So, and, and of course, there's, you know, this started as a, as a quirky story, but as we, we found the, this, this co- you use the word commingling, but the idea that he was taking these resources that the county paid for and, and Passing him out as party favors for his for his obsession. What does the indictment actually say? How does it read? It accuses Michael Whiting. So we have three people in the indictment. Michael Whiting, his wife Joy Whiting, school superintendent, and then an aide who I believe was a, a it's assistant of some sort at the county attorney's office for Whiting. His name is Daryl Greer. Um, so among the things in the indictment are intimidating Joy Whiting's political opponent, um, Whiting and Greer, and another person who's named in the indictment and who was under investigation um, but is not charged by the state um, attorney general, um, just another aide of Michael Whiting's. They are accused of intimidating Joy Whiting's political opponent earlier this year. Other things include using, again, taxpayer dollars to pay for campaign materials for Joy Whiting, a spelling bee, um, materials, shirts, and whatnot, because she puts on a spelling bee show. Other things are buying, using taxpayer dollars to buy gym equipment for the office. Um, Joy Whiting is accused of using her funds to buy Michael Whiting a car for their office. Um, wow. It just, I, just theft 
and misuse of public monies is just plastered all over that indictment. I heard something while we were at break, and I need you guys to explain this to me. Were there cardboard cutouts in any situation involved here? There were. <laughs> um, the, please, amongst, please elaborate. <laughs> um, as we were investigating this, we came across many now deleted videos of Mr. Whiting's interaction with his fan, with her, with Dagny's fans, and his relationship his apparent relationship with a couple of of her um, women there in Norway. And he, uh, I'm going to pass to Elena, but yeah, at one point he's talking to a, a paper cardboard cutout in a very um, jovial way. Of this and, pop star? Of, of pop star, you know, uh, <laughs> one on a, you know, like on a popsicle stick and there's her face and he's, he's kind of talking to it and telling her not to use bad language, nine, 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 nine. It's, this is all happening in Norway, <laughs> but that's not the weirdest stuff. Stop it. Honest. Elena? Elena. I Bring mean, us home here. <laughs> we just so many things that we found all over social media because his, thanks to his friends, they just posted everything. And we have him talking to a case of Red Bull and just caressing it and saying, her name is Addie, or her name is Egyptian, but we call her Addie, which is another thing that, you know, is a red flag considering you were past, you have shirts and campa campaigns against, you know, being sober or for being sober. Sure. Um, so... It's just a weird video, and other things are just him in a parked car with these friends, these girls at night, lip syncing or singing to each other, Dagny songs. Oh my! Um, Does he still maintain his current employment? He or is he an elected county attorney, so yeah, uh, it's and and frankly, because he's elected, I don't know if there's a legal remedy to get rid of him. Other than the fact that if he's indicted, he probably Can't is going to lose his his law license. I mean, if he's indicted, and so far he has not been. I, I want to make clear he has not been convicted of any crimes. Correct. Um, this has been enlightening on a Friday. I am always so thrilled to have you join me, and you never fail to disappoint. <laughs> That's That'll be to news to my family. <laughs> we're we're going to follow up on this. Um, Oh, my gosh. I hope you guys have the best weekend ever. Robert Anglin and Elena Santa Cruz, two of my favorite people from the Arizona Republic. Thank you so much for joining us today and have a great weekend. Thank, thank you. Thanks for having us. But I, I, I want to leave you with the image of Michael Whiting doing voiceovers with cowboy hats, having one cowboy hat talk to the other. One's a highfalutin cowboy hat and the other's <laughs> more of a country cowboy hat. And you need to read the article to see exactly what he says Listeners, or watch the video. Please hit up AZ Central, Arizona Republic. Check them out on X if for more information on this wackadoo story. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, it's Kristen Bentz in for Mike Broomhead today on KTAR. Thanks for watching the Mike Broomhead Show. Catch up on Amazing Arizonans, a KTAR News podcast, and click the button in the middle to subscribe.